Hello friends, in this video we are going to add a WhatsApp option to our WordPress website so the customers can order the product through WhatsApp and send it to us on the WhatsApp. So first we have to add, uh, download a plugin. The link I have given in the description box below. You can download the plugin and start building your WhatsApp store now. So let us go to our video. Add the plugin as you are seeing in the video. Just go to the plugin section and upload the plugin. Once upload the plugin, you click on install now. Okay, once activated plugin. After that, go to my delivery option. Go to short code section. Add my delivery product. Short code, copy that code and create a new page click on add new and give the page a title and paste the delivery page title over there and click on the short code option and add the short code and after adding the short code click on publish and just view the page how it look like once you have add the everything just go to add another page orders this is for the shop owners and add the short code also you can do the same thing in elementor also just click on publish and create another page track order this is for the customer and add the short code and click on publish after that business info you can add all the remaining short codes over the business info page. So once a customer can see uh, details about our page, our store, you can see everything there. Once you finished every page creation, create a store. creating a demo store on the store page and fill all the details all the required details and click publish you can set all the timings our store timings over there So opening time and closing time you can add ok once finished everything go to the settings option and add our business info over there also our business name business description you can add any business description over there and click country business country and track order page that we have created earlier and select the options if you have delivery over whatsapp and create the category 
when creating a category just type the product category and put a comma and you can add how much category you like after that save options Once you change the business settings, you can add the other settings also. You can do whatever you like. You can change all the settings according to your options. And you can add the payments settings over here. Here you can add the payment methods, credit card, phone pay, like that. Do the same what you have done on the category page, put a comma and add the settings. And once you finish, save the options and go to the product and add some product. Click on add product. and give a title a description for the product and select the category you have created and give a price for the product and an image for the product After that you can add the variable products also over this column. Once you finished click on publish. Once you finish the publish button add some other products also for your store. Click on add image. As we have done earlier in adding products, do the same thing over here also. Select the category and put the price and add the description. And let us check how to add a variable product. I am adding a tea powder product over here and upload the image. If we have two, two type of product, You don't need to add a product price if you have a variable product. Click on add row button and if you have 2 kg product just add 2 kg. What is the variable you have just add it over there and add their price on there. If it is required, you can click the button and I have 1 kg product also so I am adding 1 kg and put that price also over there.
is it optional then you don't click to the required button so the customer can select what the product they like and go to the appearance and click on menus and create a menu and add the pages that we have created for this plugin so the customers can find the pages very easily on that menu section and arrange the menu as you like after enabling the menu you can tick the option where the menu can be seen and selecting the primary menu also under this section once you have finished everything click on save menu now let us check it on our website is everything works fine we can check it over here see the menu is we can see here click on the delivery page it is our ordering page customer can order on this page customer can book the product on the whatsapp and they can choose the payment options also there they can see the business store info over here This page is for the shop owners only. The customer cannot view this page because we can confirm the order and all the order status are taking place on this page. So once everything you can you finished, just go to the mobile and we can check it on mobile. A customer can order the product like this. they can add their name phone number and address and everything etc etc select the payment option and change for option is for change the amount and once the everything order is finished you can send it the order to the business owners in the whatsapp as you can see this window you can enter into your wordpress dashboard on your mobile and log in with your wordpress dashboard and click on orders button and you can manage the orders over here you can change the status of order here you can confirm the order after shipping you can add the in delivery option you can cancel the order here everything you can uh, select the option here to download the plugin i will give the link in the description you can download the plugin order from the link and you can start building your whatsapp delivery option for your store now thanks for watching please subscribe the video if you like